It's a beautiful day here in Terelj National Park. We had a hearty Mongol breakfast before starting out in our hike. Our driver Nora told us about the monastery across the mountain. So with my two sisters Majen and Dilo and our guide Timuk, we began our hike. The air was cool but the sun was bright and we walked some distance with Majen behind us. As we walk, let me give you guys a brief description of this national park. Gold Key Terelj National Park is one of the national parks of Mongolia. It is connected to Ulan Batar, which is 66 kilometers from the city center. It is connected by a paved road that later crosses to Ul River and the National Park territory begins. We rest and enjoy this wonderful nature barely touched by man. We walk about almost an hour, hiking up on one of the mountains and descending to the other side where we saw the metal fences of the monastery. It was a pleasant hike. With me heading the group, we finally reached it. The Aryaval Monastery and Meditation Center was inaugurated in summer 2006 after many years of construction. Located on the hillside of a mountain, covered with larches and granite rock. To get a better view of the compound, I used my GoPro Karma which was still newly released during this time. The view was spectacular with the main monastery at the very back view. And there are the others walking along the trail. Suddenly, the GPS signal was lost, and the drone crashed. It took us a while to find the drone. Unfortunately, the stabilizer broke with the propellers. But the GoPro itself is still working, which unknowingly I forgot to turn off. Majen suggested we use the GoPro Care Plus and we collected all the parts of the propellers which took us a couple of minutes to find every single piece. Without the gimbal or stabilizer it will be difficult to film or take any pictures. So now I won't be able to take any videos. So enjoy the rest of the video with pictures. We went through the entrance and followed the trail which is lined up with boards with meditation theories and teachings. It said it is the sure way to attain enlightenment by practicing the teachings written on them. Later on we passed by the Elder White, a benevolent deity of the land. Then the great prayer will of Kangyu. The Kangyur of translated words consists of works in 108 volumes, which of all it was spoken by the Buddha himself. This prayer wheel is filled with the complete Kangyur itself printed on Tibetan. After spinning this prayer wheel, the pointer up on the wheel will stop at a certain number, and this number will lead to a board that has theories on meditation and enlightenment that you should engage in practice. Then, Shakyamuni Buddha, or the Enlightened One, the main symbol in Buddhism. The Buddha sculpted on the rock. The Buddha sculpted and painted on the rock are three figures which symbolizes Buddha's virtues, manifesting Buddha's wisdom, compassion, and power. Also, to reach the temple, you will have to pass a small wooden bridge on which a sign tells the bridge that leads beyond wisdom. The main temple of Aryapala. The temple is open to anyone who wants to do meditation and be free from the outside distraction. Study the teachings and sutra of Mahayana Buddhism. 
The outline of this temple resembles an elephant, which was the main transportation of vessel for the Buddha. However, there are 108 white steps and 8 black steps that illustrate the humankind's ordinary and meaningless life. There are also 108 praying wheels around the temple, which contains 3 million mantra of the Buddha. And he who spins these praying wheels will find happiness and fulfillment in their lives as well. So that's what, exactly what I did. Then the mantra of Aryapala. The mantra of Aryapala, sculpted on the rock, is the biggest of its kind in Mongolia. Then in a separate room, on the left side of the main monastery is Sandan Zhu or a sandalwood Buddha. The interior of the temple was breathtaking. It is filled with colors and details. Along the walls are some of Buddhism's famous people. And after that, we walk back down using another route and pass by several buildings which can be rented out to people if they want to stay longer than a day or so in the monastery and the meditation center. Then later on, as we exit the national park, we pass by the giant turtle rock. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use my drone to encircle around the rock, so we had no choice but to take pictures or souvenirs. I hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget to visit this place. Also, please like, share, subscribe. Bye!